Martin, many congratulations. The smile on your face says it all. Winner of the opening round of the World Grand Prix. Just put into words how you're feeling right now. Oh, I'm buzzing. But ain't this, that's it, it's one round, it's nothing. I know I can go further in these competitions and I want to. How much did you learn and take from the match play? Although it was defeat, playing on that big stage for the first time, how much did you take into this tournament from that? I didn't, I didn't take much from the match play, to be fair. The European Tours this year has done me the world of good. And it's just kicking me on now. Now these stages, they're the same. Different colours, different sponsors. It doesn't matter. It's a stage now. You looked so comfortable up there. You had a key plan in there. I know you said before that you've been practising tops, but you went 16s. But tonight it was a clear plan and you looked cool, calm and collected when it mattered. Yeah, well, I did a little practice with uh, Daryl Gurney earlier. And my 32s were going ping, ping, ping. I went, I, I got down the 32s. And it worked tonight. You know, James missed a few doubles, whatever, the old guy. I've done, I've done the job. I bashed him. <laughs> we can see what it means to you. Your first year on tour was, was difficult, but this year you seem like a new man reborn. And the year you've had, just put into words what that means to you. What, last year, what did I have? Nine grand, nine and a half grand? I was fighting for my tour card at the beginning of the year. And yeah, of course it is. I, I put the work in. I don't want to go back to building sites and that. I don't want to be getting up at five o'clock in the morning, getting home at five in the afternoon. And I want to do this. It's a good job. I enjoy it. I love darts. I'm up for a battle. I'm going to get in the little nicky, nitty gritty things. But yeah, I'm, I'm up. I'm game on. Let's have it. The confidence this has given you, how far can Martin Luke can go in this sport? What do you reckon? I'm asking you to cry. I'll ask the question. What do you reckon? I don't know. I'm, I, can, I can win some of these. I know I can. And you know, you win one, then it goes to two, three. And you just get your confidence to keep going on. I've been world-class players this year. Top ten, I've probably had five of them this year in all different competitions. You know, I know I can do it. The dream, obviously, to be that pro dark player. You gave up everything. Work, it was a gamble, but now the gamble was certainly worth it. A lot of people have backfires on, but yeah. I, I worked all last year. It didn't really work out. And I had a little chat with my wife and that. And she went, look, just give up. We've got enough money in the bank to at least last a year or a year and a half, rent-wise, whatever. She went, just quit. Just go for it. So I have. And it's so I have to go to Tiffany soon to sort her out. <laughs> we saw it then. You point over to the family area. Was that to your wife? Then? I was to my wife. Listen, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here. She, she drives miles and miles and miles. I was at a European a month ago or a month and a half ago, and our planes got... got it, they said no we're not flying and I was like right let's go fishing she went no I'm driving because what she never drove European before she jumped in a car and drove me 10 hours to Germany <laughs> right many congratulations we can't Thank wait you, to pal. see you next round. God bless you Martin that win's moved you up 10 places in, in the world rankings how big is it to get that first win on your debut here mate I was just looking to keep my tour card at the beginning of the year <laughs> now people are singing 32s and 16s I'm like look, I'm just going game by game look Similar as that. The more I think about darts, the the least like you know it don't happen for you. How much are you enjoying being on these big stages? I'm guessing you used to watch these tournaments on TV. Oh, I did. Yeah, I've never been to a dart match, but yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning quick. People what? with the mind games before your bull's eyes, and you know, just little things. You just you start copping onto, and you don't you don't bite to it. Ross Smith, up next, a big opportunity for both of you. How do you view that game? I've beaten Ross before, Ross has beaten me, let's go. I'm up for it, it's a game of darts at the end of the day. Start thinking about more stuff, it's just, it just backfires on you. First impressions of the double start format as well, you like it? I've always loved the double in, double out competition. Anytime I see on, like the wife says to me, look we've got a double competition, 40 miles away or 30, I'm like put me in. Cause I, I really do enjoy double in, double out, you know. But yeah, in the stage, on the TV, you know, it's different, different guys. James Way is one of the best double hitters in the world. Look, he ain't, he ain't no mug. But I've, I've, I've grinded it out, I've done it. You mentioned you just wanted to keep it to a card. Have you had to reset your goals now that you're surging up those rankings? <laughs> no, next year I'm just going to say I've got to keep my tour card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it every year. I'm going to keep my tour card. got to keep my tour card. Cheers, Martin, well, Cheers, pal. Martin, are those European tours, because you had some, some success on them, have they helped you prepare for these, these TV stations? 100%. They have been like a good limelight. I mean, the first European tour, I actually qualified for it last year in COVID, but it got cancelled. Is it Risa? Maybe. Then I played um, Dimitri, first game, first round, and I'm thinking, oh, come on. 
You know what I mean? He beat me. I didn't let my head get down. I think I qualified for nine or ten out of the 13 this year. And it was like, come on, second one, done well, second, you know. I was a nightmare draw for these people on a Friday. And I've done, I've done what I have to do. I've put the work in, though. Every day I'm practising, practising, practising. We know you lost James Wade at the match play a few months ago. Was tonight a little bit of revenge? Yeah, after his interview, yeah. You know, I bigged him up. But, um, look, I'm not going to get in tit-tat, tit I'm not going to do this for you lot. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was great revenge. Yeah, 100%. Perfect. Cheers, mate. Thank you.